It's a great day, everybody, and welcome to another What If Wednesdays, episode four, where we address common what if scenarios and questions in real estate, empowering you to move forth with your next real estate transaction with confidence, okay? And so today on this What If Wednesdays, we're gonna address the common question and scenario, what should I consider to accurately price my home for sale? Okay, once again, what should I consider to accurately price my home for sale? Okay, it's so important if you're looking to sell your house this year or next year or at any point, you wanna make sure that you price it accurately okay for sale so you can get the most out of your investment okay so you can get the greatest return on your investment okay so i'm going to talk about five things these are things that my wife and i share we've been practicing real estate for many many years okay so i'm gonna share with you five things that we discuss with our clients to consider okay when pricing their home accurately for sale okay so number one consider comparables consider comparables okay you want to make sure that you consult with your real estate professional okay who should be preparing a, a detailed written comparable market analysis cma comparable market analysis of homes that have sold and of competing homes and then being able to review that with you to help you determine an accurate price okay to set for the sale of your home so what are comparables comparables are the properties that are most similar to yours Okay, in the same geographic area or location, okay, same style, okay, and similar in terms of square footage, size, okay, and there's other factors that go into it, but those are those are the three key factors, okay, so you want to make sure that they're in the same location, preferably within the same subdivision, definitely within the same zip code, same style of home, so what does that mean? If you have a colonial, you want to make sure you're comparing colonials to colonials, okay, you don't want to compare a Rambler home to a colonial, okay? And then square footage, that's so important. Okay, so those are critical, uh, those are critical uh, parts of a valuation of the home. Okay, also in terms of sold home comparables, you wanna look at homes that are sold within the past, preferably three months, but no more than six months. Some instances you may have to go beyond six months, but preferably within the past three months. Why? Because markets change quickly, okay? And within six months, prices can go higher, they can be lower. Okay, so you want to make sure you're looking at that. Number two is you want to consider competition. What's competition? Those are the homes, uh, same criteria that's in your same general location, uh, size, and also style that are unsold. They're active. Okay, they're on the market, but they haven't sold. That's your competition. Why do you want to look at competition? Because when your house hits the market, buyers are going to be not only looking at your house, but they're going to look at other houses that are similar in the same area. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have a good understanding of what, you know, those, the prices of those homes are, the days on market, you know. Um, so you want to make sure you don't price your house too high, okay, to where your house is sitting there or you're getting lowball offers. You want to make sure you don't price it too low, okay, to where you're leaving money on the table. Okay, so you want to look at the comparables of the sold homes and the comparables of the active homes, which is your competition and under contract as well. Number three is you want to consider contingencies. Contingencies, what do we mean by that? Okay, do you have any special concerns or some must-haves, okay, in order to move forth with your home sale? Okay, maybe you, instead of a 30-day closing, you need a 60-day closing, okay, because maybe you're trying to find, need time to find the house that you're going to buy. Okay, maybe it's going to be, uh, uh, one contingency is that it's got to be condition, uh, condition is uh, that you have a, uh, that you have uh, your home under contract that you're gonna move in, okay? Or maybe, you know, some things that will not convey in your home. That could affect the price of your home, okay? So you wanna have that conversation with your realtor professional. Number four is be accurate. I can't stress this enough. Be accurate with your price, okay? Studies, studies have shown that homes priced more than 3% of the correct price take longer to sell. They stay on the market longer, typically. Okay, so you don't want to end up being at a point where your house is over the kind of the average days on market. It becomes a stale listing and you have to drop the price below what you could have received had you priced it accurately. Okay, and then last but not least, know what you'll take. Know what you'll take. So you want to do that up front, have a conversation with your real estate professional. They should be able to prepare you what's called a net proceeds estimate based upon a price that you're gonna sell it for minus all the expenses of the, expenses of the sale, 
how much money is left over? How much are you going to get back at after settlement? Okay, and that way you can determine, okay, how much lower you're willing to uh, lower your price or what kind of concessions you're willing to give as far as maybe closing cost helps or closing cost help or any other credits, okay, to kind of, you know, stay at or above the net that you want to be at when you close, okay? So just taking consideration of those five things, okay? My wife and I, we are both uh, certified pricing strategy advisors, okay? We've been trained and coupled with our experience on how to accurately uh, price homes and uh, put together comparable market analysis and convey that and share that with our clients so they understand it and can price their homes accurately. We've sold many, many homes over our uh, career, okay? So reach out to us if you have any questions or what have you. And so hope this has helped you uh, price your home accurately for your next home sale on this What If Wednesdays, okay? Take care and have a great day.